Hi, I'm Sean Saunders, PGA Teaching Professional at SWS Golf and here at uh, Cox Health Fitness Centers. I'm going to show you a couple stretches that you can do after your round of golf. These are more static stretches where you're going to hold and uh, the, the two uh, muscles that I find with most of my students that they struggle with being tight are your hip flexors and your glutes. So the first stretch, we're going to come down, you're just going to grab a towel. Um, if you got one of those bands, you can grab those, but you're going to put it here. Uh, on the top of your foot, and we want to get our uh, we want to get our front leg about 90 degrees here. We don't want to have the knee too far uh, forward, so you have enough room there. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to to pull that back foot up. Okay, so with your with your right hand here, we're going to do our right leg first. <laughs> try to keep your balance there. Um, and now what we're going to do is you're going to go a little push into that hip flexor. You're going to stretch that out. And we're going to try to pull a little bit farther, just go nice and slow, don't go too fast. And you're going to pull that, that quadricep muscle. So this is going to be a really good stretch for golf. Okay, You're going to sit right into that. And you're going to hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Hold it as long as you can, that's uh, bearable. And uh, so we're going to do both sides. Okay, So that's the first stretch. Uh, the next stretch you want to do is we're going to... Uh, Put the club down here. Okay, this will help with your balance. You're just gonna step on the shaft there. What we can do is you can hold that towel straight above us. We're gonna go nice and, and uh, try to sit back, and our our, our uh, glutes are gonna sit back. Our glute dominant squat here. We're gonna go down, and now I want to hold this stretch just a little bit. Okay, this is gonna be good for your quadriceps and your glutes. Okay, and then. Try to get your back to go, or your towel to go back. And that's going to stretch that middle part of your back. This is going to be really good. So hold this for about 15 seconds. It's going to start burning on those legs, and then you come up. It's going to build some muscle, but it's also going to be a good stretch for your back and also uh, for your for your legs there. So those are the two stretches I would recommend you do after your round. Um, there's one more stretch here that I almost forgot. Um, you can take your golf bag here. Um, otherwise, you can take uh, a chair, and what we want to do is we want to put our put our foot up on there. Okay, if you can, you can get a chair that's a little bit lower. And what we want to do, you can pull that toe back if you can reach it. Otherwise, take the towel and then pull. That'll help stretch out that cab muscle. Try to square your hips, and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn in to that, that leg. Okay, you're going to feel that your iliotibial band, your IT band stretch, and also you're going to stretch out those, uh, those glutes on that side. Those are really the key muscles. When you think about swinging the golf club, what I see a lot is because there's no mobility of the hips, and these muscles are really tight right here, there's a swaying action. Otherwise, the hips go back. What we want to see is that forward hip releases through, so it turns while it pushes into it, and this is the correct pivot position. And if we can stay in that position, we're going to be a lot more successful. So we really want to stretch these muscles out after your round of golf and so that we can be flexible and ready to go play and uh, be successful.